Hello and welcome to the weekly wonders of the Chris Evans Brecky Show Best Bits. This week, the dazzling Dawn French brings us stories from a new book, Me, You, A Diary. Hollywood stars Jack Black and Nick Jonas share tales of their latest adventures in Jumanji. Welcome to the jungle. And pop princess Paloma Faith performs live in the studio, playing us new music from her number one album, The Architect. Oh, and then there's me, Robbie Williams. I'll tell you what's occurring in my second biography reveal, which is out now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the Chris Evans Breakfast Show podcast. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show. It isn't Robbie Williams from out of nowhere. Yeah. We have written intros and things like that, but basically, it's Robbie Williams. Yeah. Hi, guys. So you've got a uh, studio full of people going on a booze cruise. Is that what, what's it's happening? It's far more sophisticated than that, it's Robert. It's really not. You may say that, but I don't believe you. I think <laughs> because mm. I saw a lot of box fizz happening, and that was at least 20 minutes ago. My money is on Robert, Robert over there, to see the whole day out. But I think there's a few ladies of a certain age that might be asleep on the bus going to Marlow in about 20 minutes. Well, I think he's underestimating the ladies. Mm. I agree. OK. Uh, no, but uh, we're going to Marlow. They've paid their money. Are you uh, going to Marlow? Well, there's, there's a few surprises on the way. Oh, the, OK. I don't the wanna, first don't one, the first one that they don't know about is parked outside. Oh. Oh. It's my car. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're going... all going in Robbie's car tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. You're only a vintage bus away. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so, Sarah, Chris, what's going on with the colour of your hair? Uh, well, this is it. <laughs> This is this is the colour. Okay. I love so Before l- l- it wasn't. La- I know, last time I was in, we talked about uh, the we dying did. of the hair. We talked about lots of things Rage to do with against hair. the dying of the hair. Yeah, we talked about uh, things. And w- there was a day that you woke up and you went, this is it, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing the dying. Or... I think so, yeah. I think it did. It looks amazing. You've yeah. turned into Father Christmas. Well, that's what people are saying. <laughs> it's wonderful. And I don't mind it. Do no. you think that people react to you in a more softer way now that you have... Softer hair. I do. <laughs> do you know what? I'm still not looking up, to be honest. Uh-huh. <laughs> but as Radio 2's gone orange from a brand point of view, right? I've sort of gone the other way. I think that the radio's taken over. Radio 2's well, taken over. You're looking over lovely, and well, I, thank I you love very the much. colour. What do you think of my pepper? My pepper lock? I like that very much. Should I keep yeah, it? I trust you more. With <laughs> you that. do? Okay. I do. Yeah, I do. If but I it's put... still got a bit of rad going on. If, I, the if I put some glasses on, would you trust me even more? Uh, utterly. Uh, it, on the pie chart of trust, yeah. what is the percentage of trust that you trust me um, with? Gynecologist. Gynecologist? Yeah, okay. the whole way. Listen, I'm not a professional, but I'll have a look. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? <laughs> 25 minutes past eight in the morning. <laughs> oh, I could go so much further. Oh, yeah, that's... And I'm, I so mu- okay, mustn't. OK, that's the level. We'll stop there. <laughs> I just went on about my own private sponsored silence for a minute. There, I had loads of money to children in need. So, All right, so with two books, both brutally honest. Uh, Robbie, your book is so—it's the most honest book I've which ever one's read. Which one? We'll have seven honest off. <laughs> Who's the most honest, and what percentage? Well, to be honest, though, but they're both. To be honest, they're both equally honest. Uh, can I? Uh, can I ask? I know that we're supposed to ask a question later on. Yeah. But do you feel compelled to tell the truth, the absolute truth? Is that? Is that? Yes, I do, but makeup. not the whole truth, funnily enough. Okay. I'll tell the truth, the absolute truth, but there are things that are still quiet and private. Yeah, but there's there's little bits for me too, but I... I cause I, I'm do, Sorry, Chris. <laughs> sorry, I just <laughs> wanted to ask... I, see, I'm happy to go now. I know. <laughs> well, I just want to know because I'm doing this... I'm doing interviews for the book and everybody's going, you're incredibly honest. It's yeah, a, yeah. you know, people don't normally be this honest in books and it's got me paranoid. I'm thinking, am I too honest? No, no, what, that's... Is that, that, presumably, that is you. That's okay. your personality, I just, isn't I just, it? Yeah, I think yeah, more so. power to you, I absolutely. Want, I just want to entertain and be interesting and... And, uh, and and hopefully the book is. It's called Reveal. It is called Reveal. <laughs> and Revealed there now. Uh, it's funny you talk about that, because, Dawn, Dawn, you talk about this, this privacy and then this protection, isn't yeah, there? So you exactly. So you go to the point of privacy and then protection. Yeah, I do. Well, I've got something. kids, and yeah. uh, as have you, Rob, and, you know, you 
that's where things stop. Yeah, I mean, it's about not it's about not telling the truth as opposed to telling the whole truth, isn't it? It's about if you're going to say something, make yeah. sure it's it's your truth as far as you yeah. know it. Yeah. But then beyond that, you, do, you know, it's if you're going to say something, make sure that's the truth. But you don't have to say you don't have to go as far as well the nth degree, I would imagine. But you, I mean, some parts of this is is your honesty. Does it come from? Um, the things that you've been through and experienced because of the issues you've had? Because I know that honesty in those situations to do with things like the programme, etc. There's a lot of promotion and encouragement of that and that therefore then gives you freedom and freedom is the one thing that you may have felt like you were lacking. To be honest, it's really honest because I haven't read it and I don't know what's in it. <laughs> is that true? No. This one I actually did proofread. I, I, I read it, and uh, the first book that came out, Feel, Chris, the, uh, the guy that wrote the book with me, biographers over there, and uh, after the first one came out, everybody, it's the most brutally honest book I've ever read. I think you're incredibly brave. And it was like, well, I'm actually just lazy. I didn't read it, and mm. I, maybe I should give it a once-over to see if the next edition comes out and I take a few things out. But uh, with this one... It's pretty much the same. It's a follow-up to feel. It's my life in the last uh, 13 years. And Chris has followed me around with, uh, I, I want to say tape deck, but that ages me, doesn't it? You don't have yeah. a tape deck anymore. You have cassette a phone <laughs> with, a, with a cassette player. Yeah. A DAP machine. Let's move into the new century. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, you, we, you, he follows me with a DAP machine, records everything I says, say, and then has jotted it down and formed this book. Right. Just laughing about your DAP machine reference. DAP machine, so. yeah. Um, so, mm. so the things you talk about in it uh, that you were or may not have been aware of at the time uh, often then evolve. And, and what your brilliant biographer does, and he's here with us this morning, and I remember you now from last time uh, when you came in, uh, is that he, he, he records what you said something is and how you said it is, and then he lets us know that actually you then sort of fashion those statements they become different and sometimes the polar opposite maybe a year later uh which ones in particular have you well, got anything there's in particular a good, there's a good well one particularly about your kids about getting into show business yeah and then you say well you know i wouldn't mind if they did but i'd like them to be more professional and then that becomes i'd love them to do what i do i don't want to think of them doing something serious well you kind of don't know your first answer to the first question you hear is your first draft yeah and you come up with the answer that you think is appropriate <laughs> and then as they get older and as you get older, you start thinking about it. And I go, actually, you know, my daughter, Teddy, is came out of the womb with jazz hands. So there's... It, it's Painful. Yeah. <laughs> not for me. No, okay. Not for me. But it, 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 she came out of the womb with jazz hands. But it's, it's, it's what she wants to do. So when I was first asked that question right. a long time ago, mm. what do you want the kids to do? She wasn't jazz hands in then because she was like eight months old. Mm. So I would think that she would be a professional person uh, but since then now I know that she's just she's going to be in front of the camera and also so? you're allowed to change your mind yeah. aren't you yeah that's that you know people think you're being a hypocrite or something if you change your mind or you form some new mm. thoughts or you know life is about learning no stuff, I know it is it? but it's nice to see it in print actually yeah, changing throughout and well yeah. done to you to you for putting it putting those th that evolution in the book because I think that's fascinating and also it's at a crucial time of your life when you do suddenly learn a load of stuff that you thought you already knew and you absolutely didn't know any of it yeah can yeah. I apologize for something too that I did Oh, was I it want... to me? No, no, oh. no, no, no. Not, not, not unless there's no, something. There wasn't. Okay, no. I'd like to make something. It up. was just, it was just something I said in passing to you. We were having a conversation, and um, I thought, oh, that's that's awful what I just said. I said I bought your book, and I don't know if you even remember. I said I bought your book. I really enjoyed it. I skipped the beginning bit when you were a kid. I was just like, why did I say that? Because we all do that. <laughs> yeah, then you, that's exactly yeah, what you said. We all I do that too. Well, we, it's funny enough, you do that when you're younger, then you don't when you're older. Right, OK. So, so it's another one of those evolving I'll, changes. I'll, evolving changes. I look forward to going back to your book and reading the first 60 pages. All right, it's like... Um, it's like <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Let me read it together. Um, it's, like, it's like people with the travel. Often they don't listen to the beginning and then it gets to the end and they think, oh, I did miss the beginning. It's well, like you're a professional. <laughs>